I'm drowning? I know <laughs> that swimming fast has to be hard. I just can't imagine, like, getting a good workout while swimming, because you're just, like, you're in the bath. <laughs> like, I just can't imagine, like, someone finishing a, a race in swimming and then getting out of the water and being like... <gasps> Like, what, was the water too cold or something? Like, man's washed? Before you started watching me, you didn't even know how to spell me, Anmar. You, but you didn't know how much extra lightning damage the legendary heroic Destiny uh, sniper rifle did after you completed the Mythic Raid. We're normalizing you here, okay? You should show some respect rather than so much vitriol. Gentleman Boners is a subreddit for images of beautiful women, but not debasing themselves. Not showing off all the goods. Instead, they're dressed in, you know, elegant evening wear and stuff like that. I love the idea that's like, we're gonna oogle you. We're gonna masturbate to the images to completion. But we're gonna do it respectfully. This is not a normal boner, okay? This is not the, the boner. It's not a, a, a boner from a place of malevolence. It's not disrespectful. These are gentlemen's boners, okay? No, 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 I'm not jerking off to a nude image of you. It's an image of you just dressed for a night out. It's a gentleman's boner. I gotta put you back in the crib. And she freaked out. She was like, no, no, it's too scary. And I said, I'm just going to put you in the crib and daddy's going to go to the potty. Can daddy go to the potty? And she said, yeah, daddy can go to the potty. I went and stood in the bathroom for two minutes. When I came out, she was asleep. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> I didn't even have to pee. <laughs> genius, genius moments in parenting history. These belong to me. I'm sorry to tell you, he slipped in like a disc in my wife's back. He just slipped. Oh, baby. She's probably fine. She'll get a bruise or something. Or is back at the base right now. You don't even know how eight. much tin we're coming back with. You don't even know, brother. Is it a lot of tin? I don't even know. <laughs> Let's just say, if I were a cat, I would be very excited about the future of Roofs. Let's just say, if I was a Wizard of Oz character, I'd be the Tin Man. Holy cow. That oh was much more elegant. Thank you. You know, my mom texted me today. We were just having a conversation. She revealed something about my grandfather. Sometimes he would get constipated as a young adult. And uh, when he achieved relief on the toilet, I swear to you that this is what she told me. I don't know if it's real, but I swear to you that it's what she told me. When he got relief on the toilet, when he had a bowel movement finally, he would stand up after wiping and throw a $20 bill into the toilet and flush it as his way of like saying thank you to the toilet for helping him achieve relief. My grandfather was not a wealthy man. Where's the evil women connection? Cruella DeVille, um, Anna Wintour, Jennifer Aniston in Horrible Bosses. She sexually assaults her employee, okay? I don't think that movie's a comedy. I think it's a cautionary tale. And then in Anaconda, the snake was a woman. Oh, you didn't know that? Probably because you just assumed that all monsters are men, you sexist. This is, you know what this is? This is Dostoevsky's Notes from Underground. Dude literally told like a joke that flopped at a party and he's like, these antediluvian machinations of the cerebrum, will I ever be free from their bit luminous rot? It's like, just give, wait five seconds, take a piece of bread and then tell another joke. Like maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Why you gotta be so dramatic? Bad stuff. Very bad stuff. Yeah, good stuff. It's it. Do you see the way we, we got up front and then we stuck out our ass and went take a sniff of this and the goalie was like 
And then we just put the backhand in. Look at this. Ooh, a little too close for comfort, huh? That's what you get, you perv. We're free. Send it over. They're gonna grapple you. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. Can you make that? Oh, let's give me a tall order. Hi, honey. <laughs> hey, our guy's, he's leaving. The merchant's leaving. Oh, no, no, he's, oh, not, he's, no. Com he's coming you, back. You scare me. You scare me. Yeah, I swear he was scaring oh. me too. I didn't know where he was going. <laughs> That's that's my child. Uh, hey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> website, Scooty literally just finished a solo hero no frindle run. First off, I what the hell is a frindle? You are a crybaby because your mistakes are punished a little harder than other games. I just made an observation. I said I, this is a pretty hard game. I'm getting accused of being a crybaby just for making conversation, just because I have the audacity to use frindles on my run. I mean, are you seeing this? I'm just out here. I'm just, I'm just, wait, wait, why do you say fuck me for? I'm just out here minding my own business. 128 messages in chat. Hit with junk for value. In junk. In junk. Junkson. Offsite cloud backups. Have you ever played Frostpunk? Nine question marks. What's the point of the docket if it's just going to say things like more that tell me nothing? Dock it. Dock it. Dock it. Queensland. Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal. Question mark. Anthem. Anthem or you're bad. Anthem or throw. Pick Anthem, bro. 